One step ahead. Presence. Easy learning for kids. Let's go outside and garden. I want to play. As you wish, let's go. Mom, are you coming with us? Yes, sweetheart, I am coming with you. Now let's go in study room today I am going to tell you about Habitat. So are you ready? Yes mama I am ready. You have to balance between study and playing. So our topic is Habitat. The natural surrounding or the home of a plant or animal is called Habitat. All organisms need to adapt to their habitat to be able to survive. A habitat is where an animal finds the food, water and shelter it needs to survive. Almost every place on art. From the hottest desert to the coldest Antarctic is a habitat for some kinds of animals and plants. Habitats consist of both biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic factors are living things. Examples of biotic factors are animals, birds, plants, fungi, and other similar organisms. Abiotic factors are non-living things. Light, air, soil, and nutrients, etc. form the abiotic factors. The two main types of habitats are terrestrial or land habitat and aquatic or water habitat. Terrestrial habitats are ones that are found on land, like forests, grasslands, deserts, mountains. Aquatic habitat may contain fresh water or salt water. Freshwater habitat includes streams, rivers, swamps, marshes, ponds, and lakes. Saltwater habitat include oceans, seas, salt lakes, salt marshes, and saltwater swamps. Oceans and seas are also described as marine habitat. For example, the habitat of a pine tree is mountain. The habitat of cactus is desert. The habitat of tiger is forest. And ocean is the habitat of whale. This is our home. We live here so it's our habitat. Right, Mom? Yes, you are right. Our home is our habitat. Viewers, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications.